Oh, you, once you are in thoughtless awareness, what happens? That no thoughts bombard your mind, wherever you may be. You may be in America, you may be in any place, you are not bombarded by thoughts. So, what does that mean? Into <coughs> very simple na language we can say, it means that you do not reflect. You do not have a reflecting mind. Now this is the basic problem of Sahaja Yogis of today, which one should try to conquer, that you do not reflect. That's the only way you can achieve your steady hand. For example, I've seen people, for nothing at all, they'll just start laughing, nothing at all. They <coughs> see somebody, immediately they react. This was nice but not so. They start giving their opinion, especially in the West, about everything. Everybody seems to be very knowledgeable and start telling what, what, what is best, uh, what is not the best, what is not good. And once they start saying something like that, mind becomes reflective. If the mind is not reflective, then you are thoughtless awareness. Watch anything, just you watch, just to witness. You should not reflect. If you are using your mental power, then this power subsides. This is a very common defect with people because I think you people are more intelligent, you think maybe, I think you are well educated, might be, I don't know, whatever you think. But this reflecting mind is a very dangerous thing for spirituality. You'll never grow. And then with the reflecting mind, you have different emotions with something, you reflect on somebody. Now, if it's your son or daughter or something, you get identified. Identification with some is artificial, it's not in reality. But because of this mind reflects, <coughs> it identifies. Now many identifications you have dropped out. For example, your bias about religion, about races, about maybe nationalities, you are dropped out. But still, I would say, the reflecting mind still acts. <coughs> and this is the greatest hurdle for the progress of Sahaja Yogis of today. I've been thinking, why is it the reflecting mind is so active in Sahaja Yogis of today? If you could stop reflecting, immediately, you establish yourself in the ocean of peace. You watch something, just watch. There's no ripple of thought in your mind. Then you become extremely creative, you become extremely dynamic, you become extremely compassionate. You have no fear. Some people think if you are compassionate, you see this man, might lynch you. You have no fear. All virtues that you have to enjoy, you can only enjoy when you do not reflect. That means that you leave everything to the Divine. You have not in charge. You don't see that you have to be reflecting on something. This is the greatest power you have got is not to reflect, not to look at somebody with that kind of... I have seen this is still there, lingering, perhaps I never told you about it, maybe one of the reasons. I don't say that I, it's only your fault but maybe mine, because I couldn't find what was exactly wrong, that is the reflection that you have about others. Now, I told you have introspection. For introspection <clears throat> also it can be reflection, but that at least gives you idea as to where you are. But with that 
psychologically you can become extremely depressed, you can condemn yourself. Then you may not understand yourself as a personality that you have. And you'll go on sort of uh, losing your vibrations, losing your power, because you are not control of yourself. So introspection also, if it brings about depression and demeaning of your personality, best is not to introspect also. Because all these mental activities I've seen create problems. But in a state where you are thoughtlessly aware, introspection comes to you automatically. You see it automatically, you understand it automatically. You do not think about it, it just comes to you. The whole picture comes to you and you are at peace with yourself. You are never in turmoil, never in trouble. Then you don't get angry, then you do not argue, then you do not discuss, but you become as if dropped into the ocean of awareness. And you don't have to worry as to solve something. When you are reflecting, then you find that this power works. Now it becomes very contradictory to say that you have to project and you don't have to reflect. Now when we reflect, we absorb. When we reflect on something, we absorb that thing. And mostly our attention goes to the defects of others. This person is no good, that is not good, this is the hair not all right, the sari is not all right, this, that and all nonsense. So what, what are we doing? We are absorbing all the bad things also. Now when you start admiration of something, then what happens? that you may not get the bad things, but at least you are on a better line. But still the admiration in thoughtless awareness is really very deep. I saw this in the eyes of this great scientist. Absolutely he was just one with me and his eyes were like an ocean of peace. He was just looking at me. And for quite some time, and then he came to his thoughts and he told me that this is what we can do with your photograph. So the depth in you will only come when you do not reflect. But it's very common with human beings, especially in the West. This carpet is no good, that is no good, this smell is coming, that is there. Always trying to judge others judge other things, which is important. What is so important? If you are sitting in the garden of heavens, what does it matter where you are sitting, what you are doing? This sets in, this reflection sets in waves of thoughts in our mind. I have already once described it by drawing how the energy that falls on the right side goes to the left side and the falls on the left goes to the right, crosses over <coughs> because of two types of cells we have. Then out of this energy that goes to the right, the energy that goes to the left, it is sucked in partly into the sympathetic. Now whatever is left out is the one that reflects. That is the way it goes on reflecting. Now if you can suck in all that energy and put it on our sympathetic, then all our energies will be thousandfold much more.